So is wanting it enough? Well, the obvious answer is no. And if you think about many of the things that you have wanted, maybe you haven't realized or experienced, and maybe sometimes you're glad that those things that you wanted didn't come because once you think about it, you actually didn't really want them. But if you are in a place where you're desiring to make a big change or you have a big dream that you want to fulfill and it's not coming, the worst thing you can ask yourself is, do you want it enough? Because what happens when you launch that question on yourself is you actually end up attacking yourself. You end up questioning your motivation and willpower and dedication and discipline. And often, if this is something that you truly desire and it's perhaps going into new territory for you, the better question is, what are all the things in my whole picture that might be preventing this thing, this dream, from coming to me? And then the second part is to ask yourself, why do I even want this? Why is this thing important to me? And then to continue asking that question seven different iterations. And so once you have the first answer, ask, why is that important? And then the second answer, why does that matter? And keep going until you get to the root of your purpose and the meaning and significance behind you having fulfilled this desire. And then think about how your life will be different, how your impact on the world will be different, how your interactions with others will be different once you fulfill this dream of yours. And once you have that deep sense of connection to purpose and meaning and significance and your unique contribution to the world, the next part then is to evaluate the whole picture. So think about your environment and what elements of your environment may not be supporting you in achieving this desire. Think about your body and the foods you eat, the kind of sleep that you're getting, the kind of thoughts that you're holding or the information that you're putting into your mind, the kind of relationships that you're engaging in, the kind of conversations you're having. Do you have any support system set up to, to be on your side as you walk towards this new version of you in this new territory of yours as you create this dream? And then as you start to analyze those different elements of your life, then you can start to see what needs adjusted, what needs shifted, so that every area of your life is supporting your transformation into the person who is living this dream, who is realizing this desire. And the most important thing is to think about as you're doing this, and especially if this is something that you've never done before, and it maybe it's getting you out of what your family has done or your friends have done and so you're really going into new territory it is really critical to have a guide along with you so that you continue on the path and you have the right questions to ask if you notice you're getting stuck or it's not happening or you're starting down to go the opposite direction and, and question if you really want it and to be really careful about who you share your dreams with so that you're not hearing that question, well, you must not want it enough. Because again, that just puts you on the defensive or it helps you, it doesn't really help you, it hurts you by questioning yourself and questioning your own desire and shaming yourself and thinking that there must be something wrong with you because you know you really don't want this bad enough. And if you really wanted it bad enough, it would come to you. And if it were only that simple, we would all be rich and thin and happy. So really, that's the wrong question to ask. And the right question to ask is, why do I want this? How will my life be different once I have this? And what am I willing to do? What changes am I willing to make? What conversations am I willing to have? And what actions am I willing to take to make this happen for me? And then, of course, to set up your environment your practices, your routines, everything in your life to support you in being successful in achieving this dream. And of course, I can't advocate enough for hiring the right guide so that you stay on the path and arrive at your desire even more quickly. So if this spoke to you, please consider sharing it. The more people that hear this, the better and the less we need to be beating ourselves up and the more we need to be choosing people and situations and environments and activities and practices that support us. And please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And thank you so much for listening and 
Remember, go after what you want and set up your life to support you in achieving what it is that you want.